right, um, so you started off, could you introduce yourself to the Rise of Kingdoms community? I know mostly uh, everyone knows Baba, but you know, just in case. All know me because uh, I'm one of the biggest players. I help everybody. I moved, I was in many kingdoms. I was successful in these kingdoms, in the series also. I have many fans in the community because I help them. Uh, and I support the community. I don't know why I get so famous, but uh, it's uh, that, that's what it. <laughs> My son came to me and told me, Baba, he was in, in, in the hotel at holidays. Here's a new game in App Gallery. We must play together. Okay, come on, what, what's that? Uh, it's called Rise of Civilizations. Yeah, and we installed and played and know nothing about this game. Yeah, we, we built our, our city, our resource pits and, and soldiers and moved together to the kingdom. And after two, three, four days, the first enemies came and destroyed us at the, at the field. But with the time you learn this, uh, it's normal. Yeah, and uh, after one week or two weeks, uh, my son uh, got zeroed and he was crying. And then I told him, okay, my son, who was that? Oh, this whole alliance come, came to me. I, mean, I think he was only two, two or three million power. And at this time, I was also only five or six million power, yeah? Uh, I, so I had to buy any, uh, many bundles. <laughs> power. And get in two days T5, I think that was crazy. And then I zeroed the whole kingdom. Yeah, uh, that made me happy to help my uh, son, but the kingdom was not happy about that. So we uh, migrated out. <laughs> At this time, there was no migration possible, but uh, uh, with the first day that was possible, we migrated out. <laughs> we had no friends anymore there. <laughs> right. Um, obviously, you know, early game is really fun and, you know, we're chaotic. So would you mind telling us what were some of the noob, noob mistakes you might make along the way in early stages? Oh, so many. Uh, leveling up commanders with gold heads, this is sculptures. Right. Uh, and for Kakao and Ma Miner, I used the other gold heads of the other commanders only to, to level them up. Uh, I made many mistakes like that. I regret using mine. Yeah. Gold hats to upgrade um, Caesar as well. Oh yeah. my God! <laughs> yeah. I, I remember you. Uh, you know, earlier you mentioned um, some of your story about Rise of Kingdoms with your children, specifically your son. Do you mind telling us more on that? Like, how old was he, and then is he, is he still playing the game, or are you guys still playing together? Uh, at this time, he was 10 years old. Now he's 13. I think he played about one year after the zero happy, happened. Uh, but then he preferred to play PlayStation, Fortnite and other games. Right. But he's helping me with my uh, big account oh, of right. farming barbs right. or defending flex. <laughs> right. And when he helps me, I help him also to buy uh, these coins in Fortnite. I don't know. I don't it's, know the name. It's a trade that... Yeah. So if you, want, <laughs> you, want, you want allowance, you gotta, you gotta fight barbs for me. Yes, that's, that's it. This is this is exactly why I want to have children. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, in you know, I'm pretty sure you have a lot of epic fights um, along the way. Which one was um, the more memorable and more exciting uh, Rise of Kingdoms moment for Baba? I can say it was in Kibiki One. Uh, many players of Kingdom One One Sixty Three at this time in Rise of Kingdoms, it was possible to migrate in a kingdom during KVK. Uh, the players of this KVK asked me and my friend, my Greek friend George, to help them. And we migrated there. I think we was about 150 million power. It, at this time, it was amazing. Not many players had this power. We came there, they was losing and we destroyed all alone. That was, oh, the, I can't, uh, I can't uh, forget this moment. That was right. one of my best moments in this game. 
We was only two players, but the enemies was hundreds. But right. we destroyed them. <laughs> right. That, that was like your Thanos moment, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what were the some of the most opponents that you fought along the way that they were very memorable and very that you respect them? Um, do you have any uh, one on that list? The most strong and respected mm. enemy of me is King of Armenia. He was in my first kingdom, I think, but he left the, the game. He was always uh, like a gentleman, respected each other. Even he's uh, from another nation and uh, he has another religion. Turkey and Armenia have some political problems, but at the game, you forget that. Yeah? The, right. the, it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah? You, you share the same um, funny things like Rise of England. You play the same game and this player I miss very much. Sad that he left the game. Yeah, we make a lot of um, great friends along the way in, in this game. And um, speaking of, I, I really want to know if you come across any um, inspirational story or touching story you've heard in the Rise of Kingdoms community so far from other players um, or from uh, friends. Of course. It's not one story, so many. Some people died during COVID pandemic. Uh, and uh, okay, you don't know this person in real life, but it hurts like this person uh, left your life like in real life. This right. player never log in uh, again. His castle is still staying there, but he will never reply you back. And uh, this is what, one of the most emotional uh, parts in the game, which I also can't forget. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's a it's a family. It's not, of course, not in real life, but right. it's like a family in virtual world. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I think this is something um, that is really amazing that players come together uh, under circumstances like this. So I, I really. This is one of the things that I really love this, you know, community as well. Yeah. yeah. This is not amazing. We are from all over the world. Right. So many yeah. countries, so many languages. Yeah. But and you know, we're we just you one. know relying on Google Translation and you know we did it. We were you know we, we, <laughs> yes. we understand each other and and we can fight, you know, defend flags, destroy forts, you know, all that based on Google Translation. So Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really amazing to connect. Let's move on to some of the um, more fun questions, shall we? Um, so if you could only recruit three players within the Rise of Kingdoms community um, for the rest of the year, um, who would they be? To recruit in my kingdom? Yeah, um, despite your, you know, Imperium status. First of all, I want to migrate MF. He's uh, from Saudi Arabia, an amazing guy. He fights till death, till, till the last soldier, really. Then Tintin from Vietnam he is my former king from my former kingdom in 1163. I respect him uh, really much because he has many knowledge about the game and he teached me how to play this game professional. He is my mentor. I like him very much, Tintin. And of course, Laudi. <laughs> Uh, in my last KVK we lost, but be only because uh, he saw how I fought, fight alone. I, I was allowed to touch Sigurat uh, because of respect to me. And players like I like that, I want to fight side on side yeah. in my kingdom. <laughs> nice. I was I really do wish you know I could see Baba teaming up with Slaudi. Yeah. Because I've seen, be I've seen, yeah, I've seen some of the Rise of Kingdom memes um, about Saudi and Baba. It was really fun. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. It's um, so. What about um, recruiting players who never played Rise of Kingdoms? Oh, you know, that's so difficult. All my friends in my business life don't like to play. When I show them my phone that I'm playing as a businessman, they they will say to me, are you crazy or what? <laughs> but uh, in Turkey, there's a Turkish series 
uh, called Tyrilish, like Ottoman warriors, uh, very famous in the world, I must say in the Muslim world. And there are three actors, uh, Ertur, Turgut Alp and um, Bamse. These three persons must play this game because uh, all love them and they, uh, they, they're fighting so cool. And we all love them and it will be amazing when they play. I write them in, on social media, but they still read my message. <laughs> okay. You know, it's okay. So let's move on. And Baba, what are some of your most desired achievement in Rise of Kingdoms? Like of course, the um, uh, best moment for me was as I reached as first player in the world, one billion power. And besides that, I can't say this or this, okay, um, I was in the 4-4 four, four final at uh, Osiris League. That was also nice, but I never won Osiris League. Uh, Kiwiki, you won or lose, it doesn't matter. The rewards are, sorry, Leo, not uh, not very good. And uh, besides this, I can say every good flag de defending or castle defending or pass defending, uh, which takes hours and you, uh, when you are successful and the enemy uh, rally and rally and you defeat them. That are the moments where you say, yes, right. you'll never beat me. Yeah? I can't say only one situation. There are many steps in, in, in this game. Uh, so again, you know, like last time, um, you know, we always have our guests uh, deliver a message to the Vassal Kingdoms community. So I would like to ask you again, uh, we want to let Baba to deliver a message to the Rise of Kingdoms community. Uh, like I tell the community always, please, this is only a game. We have all our real lives, families, uh, business, and we only look in, in this game to have fun together. And to talk trash uh, on social media is easy. But you don't know what you, how you affect the person behind the computer or the phone. Uh, please respect each other, love each other. Uh, doesn't matter which religion you are, which country you are. Just have uh, let us have fun in this game. Uh, I have so much stress in my uh, real life with my business. But when I log in in this game, I forget the, that I'm the company leader. Here I'm only a warrior. Uh, have my friends here. Hello, how are you? What? How, how are you? And talk together. We have fun together. So please respect each other. And you, when you give love, you will uh, get love back. Right. Thank you, Baba. Yeah, I feel like you, um, I feel like we really need a lot of more fun atmosphere around uh, the community, especially in game chats and all that. So um, yeah, so there's something that I've been doing lately, which is to um, to send dad jokes um, to to the chat. <laughs> like one of those jokes that I think is funny, but the others are like, "Why are you saying it?" So um, actually, I have one. I have, I have one ready right now. Um, um, so here it is. Um, what happens when a spy goes to sleep? Do you know? When a spy goes to sleep, I don't know. They go undercover. <laughs> See? Now, now, this is one of the, the jokes I, this is the type of jokes I like. And, you know, I've, I've been doing it, do it. In, in, in Discord chat, but, you know, they don't approve of my sense of humor, but um, they don't like that jokes. But, you know, I, I still have fun with it. Um, you know, just trying to make everyone laugh, and I feel like that's the, the one of the uh, the atmosphere we should aim for in in, in all the in all the Rise of Kingdoms community. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm uh, yeah, so. Please. Anyways, uh, we can wrap this up. Uh, we can wrap this interview up. Um, thank you again, Baba. You know, for your time and your amazing I costume. I have to say thank you. <laughs>